Hey guys, it's me, Napoleon Dynamite. But anyway, yeah, I am just going through a lot of change right now. And one thing that I always do every time something like really big happens to me, negative or positive, is that I always feel this like need to change my appearance because it's like, I don't know. I feel like when I look in the mirror and I see the same person that went through that, it's almost like, no. If I change the way I look, it might change the way I feel or something. I don't know. It hasn't really failed me, I guess. Like, it always is also just a good distraction from what's going on. Like, right now, um, I went through a breakup. Like, I'm sure nobody is even going to know who the fuck I'm talking about. But just in general, if you do, which I assume, again, anybody who's watching this probably does it. Obviously, I don't want you to, like, harass or, like, talk to me or anyone else about this. I'd rather just let things rest. The person broke up with me, so obviously they don't want anything to do with me. And I just kind of want to let things go. I don't want to really talk too much about it in general. All I'm really going to say is just this person did hurt me a lot intentionally or, or, or otherwise. I'm not gonna act like I'm innocent and I didn't do anything and I was perfect. But even with that short explanation, I'll probably cut a lot out. I just wanna move on to the hair stuff and changes. I did this like stupid tattoo and everything. Like I just really want things to be changed. So as you can see right now, I have this stupid mullet thing still. And like my mom was like, everybody was like telling me not to cut it. I thought everybody was gonna be like ecstatic for me to be getting rid of this shit a long time ago. Also, the reason why I bleached it was because I was gonna do a couples cosplay with this person and I like it just feels weird to just still have this hair blonde hair that I don't really want. So at the end of the day, like I feel like it's just better to just get rid of it. Um, my plan is just to dye this blue. Pretty simple. Not really much going on there. But first, I'm going to cut it. I feel like this is roughly like the longest point on top of my hair. So I just have to make sure that when I cut it in the back, it's longer than this. Which, this is not a lot of length, so... I don't think I have to worry about it being too short in the back at all. In general, in terms of like styling my hair, it's just been a nightmare because um, the only real like way that I can style, like you see how short this is and also how this is clearly um, a different hair texture than this. You can't really tell obviously because it's twisted up, but this part of my hair is stands up, it's very porous. This part of my hair is a lot straighter and it's just a lot less porous. And it's just terrible because um, there's really not a lot of ways that I style it. Basically, I've just been taking this damn gel and I had to buy a new one because it was so much. And now I don't even know what to do with this at this point, but I had this gel and like other gels. And I was just looking it back and my friend recently, like, I don't know why it took me so long to realize that the problem that I was having is that there wasn't I couldn't like make a ponytail. There was no tension on the hair for it to just stay the fuck back. So it was just terrible. And it, I didn't like how it looked. I looked sickly. And I just really want the opportunity to do other hairstyles. And the best way for that to happen is for my hair to just be short. So thinking about that strand that was on top. I, I, I don't know. Like it's those things where like you can always cut more, but you can't cut less. So I'm gonna basically just cut right around here. The hum I scared me. Alright, so now I have these. If you feel like freaked out, I kind of save for my mom. It's not really like that weird. I wanted to keep some length in the back, but like, I don't know, this just looks really odd. I'm thinking I should try to like style it and color it before like anything. 
like maybe just see how I feel about it XYZ I don't know but this is too much I'm gonna have to like taper it up I don't know how to describe it let me just make it to where it's shorter on the top on the top layer shorter than I wanted it to be but I really don't think it's gonna work if my hair is too long kind of like mess with the part that I kept splitting which I know it's gonna be a pain in the butt when you have a split in the same spot for so long trying to pull on it to make it better I learned my lesson last time obviously my hair is very light and I'm just going to put dye on it I really don't know if anything is going to go wrong at this point, but yeah. And I'm also wearing gloves on both hands. Good genius. So. Alright, same thing I do every time, just a bowl full of conditioner. Here's my hair dyes. So I just really wanted uh, blue. I don't know why. I just, I can't think of any other color that I really care for right now. This blue is pretty dark, so I'm trying to put less of it, but I still need it to be enough for, you know, what it is. I wanted to put some fucking red in there, but I don't know now, like thinking about it, I don't really care for that. So, all right, and that's what I'm working with, so. I guess I should just start applying. I hate doing these like things on camera. Rather just be in the mirror. But you people want to see this part. Otherwise, it's the point of making a video, right? I'm gonna like try to just go back and forth. Try to make sure all of this is just super saturated. I never recorded my fucking hair, so this is how it came out. It's been like three or four days, and you can see. I wish it wasn't so green, but you know, that can always be fixed. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the room with, with these two, so if you hear like background noise. But anyway, um, thanks for watching my video of me dyeing my hair. You know, give me a like, subscribe, comment down below what I should do my hair next. I'm gonna shave it off or whatever. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>